everybody was expecting him to talk about the e-levy in much more detail ah, than so the, question the is, single um, mention okay, of it. So the question is, how much detail did he provide on it? He, 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 well, if you look at it, could you, one would say he kind of avoided it. No, he didn't. So first of all, he mentioned it as part of the... And I told you he spoke about four things. He spoke about um, the measures that we are taking to mitigate the impact and get us out of the current situation in which we are. And within that context, he spoke about the EV. I think it's true that a lot of people were expecting him to give a very detailed set of comments on the electronic transactions levy for two reasons. One, because he has been the champion of digitization in this country. And I think that that is commendable. He's been one of the very first and strong voices on digitization and its impact and why we should digitize a lot more. Indeed, the fourth part of his presentation was extensively about digitization. So if a digital sphere is now attracting a levy, a lot of people were expecting him to do a connection between the two. Um, and then, secondly, he had also been on record on talking about the fact that Momo in general, we should be careful about taxing it because a lot of poor people use it. And that if you tax Momo, you'll be taxing the poor. But, I mean, um, Prophet, I think that these are the two main reasons for which people were expecting a very elaborate set of remarks from him on the subject of the electronic levy. Am I right? Not necessarily so, but considering that of the measures that are being taken by government, the e levy is perhaps the most significant of them all. It could not be simply worth just a mention on such a platform, with such well, timing? I mean, significance is a matter we may debate, because there are monetary policy measures, some of which are most significant in arresting the flight of the currency. There are some of the fiscal measures, some of which are quite draconian. 20% plus active expenditures, in my view, are a lot more significant than 6 point something billion, which may not all be achieved. Uh, because of the delays we have had. So the debate on significance, I won't want to go into that one. But I guess the simplest answer to this is that the E-Levy is a matter that I think extensively we have, as a government, spoken to across this country and answered every single question on. I can understand why some people want to hear him do an elaborate set of remarks on it, but it should not be missed that his presentation was a third in a series of presentations by government dealing with various issues. And we have dealt extensively with the electronic transactions levy, traveling from Takari to Koforidia to Wa to uh, Ho and to other places, engaging with the public, engaging in parliament, on mass media platforms, explaining the why and dealing with the fact that those two principal issues, one, digitization will not be compromised by e-levy, I have to respond that to, and it's been responded to ad nauseum. The second matter of dealing with the poor, the vice president himself was very instrumental, and I don't think I break my cabinet oath when I say this, because I believe it serves a good purpose. He was very instrumental in the cabinet meetings and the EMT meetings to ensure that that his principled argument of protect the poor was upheld. And that is why the threshold of 100 Ghana cities, which accounts for about 40% of Momo transactions on a daily basis, 40%. 40% was excluded from uh, this levy. So in substance, the two issues, in my view, that people would want to hear him speak to have been addressed. 